Hey everyone, welcome back to Lumber Capital Log Yard. Today, Sammy and Jade are running the mill and I'm actually going to work on our potting soil mix, which I am super stoked about. So remember to like and subscribe, but other than that, let's get into the video. I honestly don't think I need these on. There we go, that's better. So this is where we're going to be putting the two soil mixes. We'll have a vegetable mix and then a flour mix. So my first step before I can even bring the soil up is I need to get this all cleaned out. So I'm gonna go put the bucket on the tractor and try to scoop some of this stuff out of here and clean it up real nice. I am absolutely stoked for this potting soil business. I think that it's really going to uh, be something that's popular. My idea with it is that it's going to be the best of the best quality. We, are, we already make our own compost, so the compost will be the base and then I'll add in all of this stuff that really makes it special, um, all top quality stuff. I think that it's going to be pretty cool. That definitely looks better. That should be good enough. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook the diesel up to this trailer right here. And I'm going to go down and get scoops from our compost pile. We have all kinds of goodies in the back here. Okay, now I have to get the tractor. I have this parked here. And I'm gonna put five scoops in. Lots and lots of running back and forth, but that's kind of a change from just running the mill. I just realized after putting that first scoop in that the way that I parked the trailer, I am making it so much harder for myself. Oh, I'm gonna reposition the trailer so I'm not doing it the hard way. It's five scoops and it about fills up the trailer. All right, I have the trailer backed up here, so I'm just gonna dump it here in the corner. Looking good, I'm gonna pull forward. All right, so we have our two piles here and I can start mixing in all of the, the good stuff. Right now, this is just compost. So I'm about to make it into some really nice potting soil. We are starting out with a very small amount because this is just an experiment. We want to be able to get the right ratios of everything. So we're actually going to take a soil sample and get it tested. So we don't want to make up a huge batch to begin with. I am so excited to start this potting soil uh, and I think, I think it's going to be some really good stuff. Okay, so the first thing I'll be adding is coconut core and it's definitely different but to get an idea of what it does for the soil, it's very similar to peat moss in that way. It has high water holding capabilities making it good for keeping your soil nice and moist. It also really helps with root growth, so this is some good stuff. I also got a bag of peat moss that I will be dividing between the two piles. Because we're using this coconut core, I think I can get away with using less peat moss. I 
I also wanted to give a huge shout out to Antonio. You know who you are. Uh, he, he helped me out so much starting up this potting soil business. Uh, and, and his knowledge and expertise in the area really helped me uh, have a starting place to, to start doing this. So thank you very much for that. Next, I'm adding perlite. This is going in, again, both mixes. Perlite is really good for soil aeration, so I'm gonna split this bag between the two piles. Now that I think about it, I feel like we need more perlite. Like, we could use an entire bag for each pile. But like I said, this is just an experiment to begin with, so we can always do it differently next time. Next, I have a big bag of vermiculite, which is going in the flower mix. So now I actually have to decide which one's gonna be which. It's a good thing I'm videoing this, so if we forget, I can always come back to the video. All right, I like vegetables, so vegetables are gonna be first on the left here, and then flowers on the right. So I'm gonna dump this big bag into the flower mix. And then the last thing I'm gonna add for today is our bone meal. And bone meal is a good calcium source, which is good for flowers. So we're gonna put it in our flower soil. Like I said, I still have a few things that I need to, few ingredients I need to put in these, but I don't have them right now. So I figured we should get what we have right now in there and stirring and just give it a good stir every single day. And we'll have some good, good soil here and our homemade compost that we started out with is already really good stuff. Uh, so we're already starting out with a really good base. So now I'm just going to mix it with the tractor here. And it's going to be something that we do on a regular basis, probably like once a day, come and stir it. We might get something that will actually mix it for us, but as of right now, we have a tractor and a bucket on the tractor, and so that's what we're going to use. I think that both the piles are looking pretty good. Just looking at it, I feel like it needs more perlite, so I'll go grab a few more bags of that. It's gonna take a lot of stirring because you want that coconut core definitely thoroughly mixed in, so I'll start tomorrow and the next day and the next day. Gypsum would be another good thing to add into it, and I think I'm going to put some green sand in with the vegetable mix along with kelp, as I know I've already mentioned. Mm -hmm. 
that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and follow us on Instagram at lumbercapital07. <laughs>